Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today let's talk about this limit problem. And then as you can see, we get a complicated rational function here and the powers are high, right? And so you can see the degree for the numerator and the degrees for the degree for the denominator are both um, 40. So now how do we evaluate this kind of limit? Because x is approaching infinity, so the strategy that we use is the usual strategy for evaluating limits at infinity. So what do you do? We are going to factor the highest power from both the numerator and then the denominator. And then, so let's get started. So first, we are going to start by writing the limit. And then now we are going to factor out x from this factor here. So when we factor out the x, it's going to look like this. I'm going to use brackets now. So I factor out the x, and then the stuff that I have left inside the parentheses would be 2, okay, and then plus 1 over x. And then don't forget that there is a 17 power on the outside of this factor. Okay, so if we distribute the x back in there, then you get 2x, and then x times 1 over x will give you the 1. Okay, so the 17 powers on the outside. Because I'm use, I'm having uh, another pair of parentheses in there, that's why I chose to use brackets at the beginning in, uh, on the outside. Okay, so now same thing here for the other factor. Um, so I'm going to factor all the x, and then I have 8 plus 5 over x. Okay, outside the brackets, we have a 23. Okay, so now same idea for the denominator. So I'm going to factor out the x, and then I'm going to be getting 4 plus 1 over x. And then I have a 40 power on the outside. Okay, so now... <clears throat> What is the next step? Because this is a product in there, this is also a product in there, that's also a product in there. What happened is that we can actually use the, uh, there was a law of exponent saying that we can actually distribute this outside exponent into the factors inside this group. So what we can do is that we are going to be getting x to the 17. And then, 2 plus 1 over x, also to the 17. So what I did was that I'm distributing the 17 to the x, and I'm distributing the 17 to the factor of 2 plus 1 over x. Same thing here for the other factors. So we are going to be getting x to the 23rd, and then 8 plus 5 over x to the 23rd. And then now... Denominator, which would be x to the 40, and then 4 plus 1 over x to the 40. And so now we can start doing the cancellation here, as you can see, because there is some power for the x at the top, and there is some power for the x at the bottom. And see that if you put, see that if you put those two together, right? If you multiply the x to the 17 and then the x to the 23rd together, you are going to be getting an x to the 17 plus 23. So you are actually going to be getting x to the 40. And so that you can see that because they combine, right? When you multiply them together, you are going to get x to the 40. And we also have a factor x to the 40 at the bottom. So we can actually cancel them. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to cancel this x to the 17 and then x to the 23 together with this x to the 40. Okay, so now we are left with the following factors, which would be 2 plus 1 over x to the 17, and then 8 plus 5 over x to the 23rd. And then now, Denominator would be 4 plus 1 over x to the 40. Okay, so now um, still looks complicated right here. But one thing that I should really just point out right here is that 
just a few note on the side that that's um, that we need to talk about is that as x approaching infinity, okay, as x approaching infinity, then what happens to the one over x? One over x is going to be approaching zero, as you can see, because when x gets large, you have one divided by a number that gets that's getting larger and larger. So the quotient, the fraction, is getting smaller and smaller. Same thing here, we get 5 over x, right? That's this fraction right here. So that it's also approaching 0. And then, yeah, so same thing for the 1 over x. So now this limit actually becomes, well, we don't really need that anymore. So we are actually getting what, two plus the zero. Okay, so because that quantity, the one over x is approaching zero, so you get the 17 here, and then times uh, eight plus also the zero, the 23rd. Then same thing for the bottom, four plus, 4 plus 0 to the 40. Okay, so simplifying that, we are going to be getting 2 to the 17 times 8 to the 23rd. And then in the denominator, we are having, what? what is that? That's going to be uh, 4 to the 40. So now you can see that um, the 8 is really just a power of 2, and then the 4 is also a power of 2. So we can actually just write everything in terms of the power of 2. So we are going to be getting 2 to the 17 times 2 to the 3rd raised to the 23rd power. And then at the bottom, then it would be 2 to the 2nd raised to the 40 power. So now if you just use uh, rules of exponents here, we get 2 to the 17 times 2 to the, the 3 times the 23, we are going to get 69 right as you can see here and then what about the bottom the bottom is going to be 2 to the 80. okay so combine the two factors at the top by multiplying them that means we are going to be adding their exponents right so we get 2 to the 17 plus 69 okay and then at the bottom it would be 2 to the 80. So now we, if we add the 17 and the 69, then we are going to be getting what? 2 to the, uh, the 7 plus 9 is what? It's the 16, right? And then 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 1 is 8. So we get 86. And then what do we get at the bottom? It's going to be 2 to the 80. So now if we want to put it, simplify this, then we are going to be getting 2 to the 6, right? Because you are taking 86 minus 80. So you get uh, 2 to the 6 power. And then in that case, you can just simplify that by uh, computing 2 to the 6, which is 64. So the limit is equal to 64 for this part. Okay, so that's it. That's um, um, <clears throat> just looks complicated at the beginning, but mostly it's just algebra manipulation. And then also we are still using the same idea of factoring of the highest power from the numerator and the denominator. Okay, so hope you like this video. And um, so if you really like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel and share my videos to others. It will give me support to make more videos. If you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.